Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Hope you guys are having a wonderful, well, it's Monday, so hope you had a wonderful weekend. Only six more days to Christmas, which is really exciting. I love Christmas. It's probably my favorite holiday. It is my favorite holiday. I haven't uh, actually even finished my shopping yet, so I should probably uh, get to that because I'm usually done by this time of the year, but I have to do um, some last minute things or grab some last minute things still. So I still have to do that. But I wanted to come on here and talk to you guys about a case that has been highly requested by some of you. It's also a very confusing case. I still don't understand some of the things I was getting about this case, but it is what it is. So if you're new, hello and welcome. Like I said, my name is Hillary. I am a psychic medium. And on my channel, I do uh, missing people cases and true crime cases and give my impressions as a medium, medium psychic on what I am getting to give these people and these victims a voice that they did not otherwise have here on this earth. So also on top of that, I sometimes do spiritual teachings. I do um, tarot and oracle card readings. I'm also a shop owner and a tarot deck artist and I have published two decks already. I have two more coming out, but I am continuously adding things to my shop. I make intention candles. So if you're interested in all that, you can just check out my link below in my description box. It's on my, everything can be purchased on my Etsy shop. Okay, so I actually want to also tell you guys about a experience I recently had with Spirit. Actually, it just happened last night. So what actually happened was I was dreaming and I was in a deep sleep. And I'm actually used to getting up like three times a night because of just sometimes I'll sense a sphere around me because I'm a medium or I will just get up randomly. But when I'm in a deep sleep, I don't actually usually get up from my uh, deep sleep. But last night I did. And there was a reason for this. And that was because I was dreaming about something that had happened to me as a young child, probably like three or four. I'm not going to get into the details about what had happened to me, but I had completely forgotten it and suppressed it like most of us do when we're children or babies and we go through any type of trauma or abuse. That's why shadow work and inner child healing and all of that is so, so important, which I've been doing for a few years now since my awakening. But this was something that um, had just come up to the surface, especially with the full moon we just had. It brought it to the surface. And so my, I'm guessing my guides woke me up on purpose to just so I was more conscious and aware of what was going on and then I remembered what had happened to me so that I could bring it to the surface and um, integrate it and heal it. So uh, as you guys know my mother passed away a few years ago and a couple of years ago sorry and I've communicated with her since she's passed away but I have never actually seen her spirit in like with my physical eyes so all my visions that I get are usually in my third eye and they're usually, so they're kind of like when you're dreaming and I explain my gifts in other videos, but I don't, I've, I have seen spirit a few times. I do see spirits sometimes, but they never, it's not very common that I actually see them with my physical eyes. So last night I actually, when I got up to go to, after I woke up from the dream, I went to the kitchen to get a drink and I actually seen my mother in spirit form, which was, uh, incredibly amazing. She was glowing. She was happy and she just wanted to confirm to me that she's around me and that she's there with me. So I want to share that experience with you guys because I think it's pretty amazing. But anyways, we'll get into the case that we're doing today, which is Lisa, baby Lisa Irwin. This case is a, not really old, it's from 2011 and it's been a very weird one for me to do. I know I say all my cases are hard because they are, but this one was extremely strange um and I didn't get everything that I wanted to get I still don't understand some of what I was getting but it is what it is so yeah okay so I have to say my disclaimer this video is for entertainment purposes only I'm not accusing anyone I'm not pointing fingers I'm just telling you what I am getting from my um my gifts so Lisa Irwin uh she went missing in the early hours of October 4th 2011 from Kansas City Missouri she was born November 11, 2010. She was 10 months, 23 days old when she went missing. Her parents are Deborah Brado, Bradley, sorry, and Jeremy Irwin. 
so this reading was very it's not gonna be very long it's I didn't get as much as I wanted to get like I said I just got and they use my clairvoyance which is my what I am seeing in my third eye uh that's the uh that's the Claire that they use the most in this reading with me. I don't believe it was Lisa that I connected with directly. I think it was more my guides that were giving me this information. So I see uh, the mom, so her mother, drinking outside on a porch with another female at what seems to be the mom's house. So the house that um, I'm guessing, I'm assuming Lisa also lives in and the father because I do believe they live together at the time. But no one else is in the house. I sense that she is slightly intoxicated and her friend is but not as much as she is so just drinking having a good time it's nothing like I'm not picking up that her mother was an alcoholic nothing like that just drinking and you know relaxing with her friends like a lot, a lot of us women and girls do and mothers I then shown Lisa sleeping in her room in her crib so the time I'm guessing is around 6 to 8 p.m give or take because when I see outside the windows in the house from what I'm seeing it seems to be like uh the sun is going down and it's evening time so I then see uh the mom and the friend laughing in the kitchen inside the house next um just having a good time and hanging out talking I'm then shown the mom now this is where it gets very weird I'm shown I mentioned the mom handing the baby baby Lisa to someone outside of the house through the little girl, the baby's bedroom window. I don't know if she had a bedroom window in her room. Like I said, this was this reading is all over the place, and I'm not quite exactly. I'm not making sense of it yet, but it's been requested. I've been trying to do it for a while, so I'm just gonna tell you guys what I'm getting. So she's handing baby Lisa through the window. She's like showing me reach her reaching up, and she's handing her to someone. I'm not seeing exactly who this person is. I tried really hard. I'm sorry. I was picking up on like a female energy. I'm just gonna say that. I'm not accusing anyone. I'm just telling you what I am seeing. So, and what I'm getting. The next thing I am seeing is randomly. So the next vision I'm getting is a man actually walking down the same street that they live on. I'm seeing it like standing behind him, like he's walking from me. I'm not seeing the front of him. But I am seeing that he's holding a baby. I'm guessing that's baby Lisa. Um, Cause I'm just seeing like the little head and she's wrapped in a blanket. It's a pink blanket. And he's walking towards what looks like a... I'm getting... It's like a park, I'd say, at the end of the street. It's dark outside, and I then hear the words, buried, drowned, and accident. I tried to get more on this. I really did. This is what all I was getting. I asked more about why and what was going on and why I'm seeing all this, and I was told that... There was some mental health issues going on with one of the parents. I don't want to point fingers. I don't want to accuse. This is what I was being told. And that this person was more interested in themselves and their own selfish wants and needs, partying, and they were more focused on themselves rather than having a baby. So I was picking up the words neglect as well. But it wasn't to the extent of like, it wasn't, it's wrong no matter what, obviously, neglecting a, a baby. But what I, was, what I was getting was it wasn't that this parent of Lisa was doing it on purpose or that she was, like, I'm really getting, sorry, she or he, that they loved their daughter very, 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 very much. And they were just going through some things of their own. So they were not still taking care of the baby that's not what I'm picking up I'm just picking up that it was they're being a little more neglectful than usual parent that I'm picking up on would put the baby to sleep earlier than normal just because they were having their own internal struggle and mental struggle I'm not saying that this is right in any way but that's what I'm getting so they were just not being as involved with the baby as they should be so the next thing I see is the man standing by a tree in the, this park that I'm seeing like I said, it's not very far from where Lisa lives. Um, I said it seems to be in a park because all I'm seeing is him standing there holding this baby and a tree there and hearing the word buried, okay? That's why, you know, these gifts are so random. They are so all over the place sometimes. So I do get a description. The man is tall and skinny. He's around, I'd say, like between 20 and 30 years old. 
he's got like light brown hair from what I, I could be wrong. That's just what I'm seeing. Cause I'm only seeing the backside of him. I'm not seeing the face at all. He's wearing, like I said, he's tall and skinny. He's wearing like a navy blue, darker, lighter jacket, like a rain jacket sort of and jeans. And I did write down that I could only see him from the backside. That is honestly what I got for, uh, Lisa Irwin. Um, I tried to get more on her. I tried to get, put the whole thing together in like from my own, I'm forming my own opinion from it, but I'm not going to say that because it is my own opinion. So I'm just letting you guys know exactly what I got to those of you that requested this video. I hope that it helps and that I'm getting little baby Lisa's um, story out there. But that is it for today's reading. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. If you want to subscribe, like, share, all that, I really, really appreciate it. I'm super grateful, like always, for all of you, and I hope you have a wonderful day.